Hello, welcome back to Learn Physics. In today's topic, we are starting a new chapter, Work and Energy. This is for class 9 CBSE students. Okay, so what is meant by work? What is meant by energy? This and all definitions you would have studied and uh, literal meaning of work and energy and all we would have learned all those things but what is the physical meaning of work and when we can say work is done okay so i'll say you an example see in exam after the exam while you are getting the marks your marks are slow then you are going and trying to convincing the teacher ma'am i worked hard then also my marks are low okay so that output is not there isn't it whether teacher will accept when you did work you did work you did hard work in that whether teacher will accept if we are getting an output then only we can accept isn't it the other part is doing work isn't it the same way here even if we are doing work uh, physically we can't accept work is done so what is this work done okay work done is how we can explain physically about the work okay for doing the work what we should do see we should apply some force some force is required for the work to happen so for uh, doing the work we should apply some force isn't it force is required and because if i am applying a force here what will ha what is happening see i am applying a force to this cap so it is moving it's displacing okay but i am applying a force in this wall what is happening nothing is happening work but i applied a force whether the displacement has happened no but in the case of this cap while i'm applying force what is happening displacement is happening isn't it force and displacement these are the two terms related with the work done okay work done will be equal to the product of force and the displacement one condition is there displacement should happen in the direction of force okay so work done is the product of force and displacement okay and the force should act in the direction of displacement then only we can say work is done okay so if it is not the case then we, we can't consider the work is done okay so that is if i am applying the force then also displacement is zero see i am applying the force displacement is zero then what is the meaning of that work done is equal to zero okay if a, a man is standing with a uh, uh, heavy weight on his head okay a man is standing with a heavy weight on his head he is not moving isn't it so whether he is doing some work no physically we can't say he is not doing any as per physical significance we can't say we can't accept it as he is doing some work the displacement should happen then only we can accept the work is done okay he is standing there for a long time and after that he started walking so mg force is acting downward direction displacement is happening in this direction so mg is in this direction displacement is in this direction so what is the angle between the work this force and displacement 90 degree if angle between f and s is 90 degree then also work done will be equal to zero okay and if f and i told you we need to consider force in the direction of displacement 
isn't it? For the displacement should happen in the direction of force. If the displacement is happening in the opposite direction, what we can say, the work done will be negative. So, and one more condition. So, here we are telling it as W is equal to 0. And one more condition is that if we are not applying any force, then work done will be equal to 0. These are the conditions to get work done as equal to 0. Okay. So, next See here that is positive work done and negative work done. How we can consider this positive work done and work, uh, negative work done? If I am applying a force, displacement is happening in the direction of force, then work done will be positive. Okay, force I am applying here and displacement is happening in the opposite direction, then we can say work done is negative. So, displacement and force is acting in the same direction, then work done as positive. Teacher is trying with examples, trying to convince the children or motivate the children in the positive way with some uh, examples. But the children are uh, accepting the negative things in that and are trying to do that. Okay, so negative. Isn't it what we were trying to convey? That one they are not it is not reaching to them, it is in the negative manner, opposite direction. Force is giving in one, the motivation is giving in positive direction, but displacement is happening in the opposite direction. Motivation is because of that motivation, displacement is happening in the opposite direction, exactly opposite direction. Then work is done, but it is negative, exactly negative way. But force is giving to the children and and that displacement also happening in the proper way then we can say it is positive work done that's what in films and all they will say well, after seeing the film only i did this mistake see in uh, films i see films they are message they are giving good messages also because because at, at the end it will be a good message but the villain a villain should be there then only they can show a positive uh, thing and so then uh, they can give a positive message in that manner only but the viewers are accepting only the villain character means that is not the mistake isn't it so it is negative Negative, negative way, negative work done, work is done in the system. But if force is happening in one direction, in the same way displacement also happening, then we can say it is positive work done. So you understood what is force and what is work done? Work done. Now, what is the unit of work done? Unit of work done is Newton as the unit of force and displacement meter. So Newton meter or we can use the unit joule also. Okay, joule is the uh, SI unit of work. So now we defined the joule, uh, that's defined the SI unit of, now we are going to. So now we explained about the work done. And we told about the unit of work done that is joule. Now, how we can define unit of work done? How we can define unit of work done? Unit of work done is joule. That means we should define joule for work done. How we can do that? For that, first you should consider the formula. Work done equals force into displacement. Okay, so we can start from here. First we should apply force, then displacement should happen. Isn't it? That is work done. So if one Newton force is acting on a body which makes a displacement of 1 meter, then we can say work done is equal to 1 joule. So how we can define joule? If one Newton force is acting on a body which gives a displacement of 1 meter, then we can say work done is equal to 1 joule. Okay, clear how we can define unit of work done as joule? So one Newton force is acting on a body to make a displacement of 1 meter, then we can say work done is equal to 1 joule. Okay, so today next we will do some of the numericals in textbook. Okay, it is from page number 148. First is, a force of 7 Newton acts on an object 
the displacement is 8 meter in the direction of force. Let us take it that the force acts on the object through the displacement. What is the work done in this case? So, giving a dis force of 7 newton and which gives a displacement of 8 meter. So, what will be the work done? How we can find out work done equals force into displacement. So, force is 7 newton, displacement is 8. So, we will get it as 56 units joule. Or in newton meter also you can write down that also say 56 newton meter. Okay. So, the next one is when do we say that work is done? So, work when we can say work is done, uh, if we are applying a force on an object, displacement is happening in the direction of force, then we can say it is positive work done and if the displacement is happening in the opposite direction, then we can say it is negative work. So, the work should be done means because of the application of force, displacement should happen. Okay, so the component of force should be in the direction of force like that also that component center you didn't study. So no need of this one. Work is done only if because of the force displacement is happening. Okay, clear? So the next one is write an expression for the work done when a force is acting on an object in the direction of its displacement. Work done equals force into displacement. In the opposite direction means minus s. Okay, so next is define one joule of work that also be derived. Then next is a numerical. In page number 149, a pair of bullets exerts a force 140 newton on a plow. Okay, force is 140 newton. The field being plowed is 15 meter long. So distance is 15 meter. How much work is done in plowing the length of this field? Okay, how much work will be done? It is lengthwise. No, uh, it's a displacement is not happening in the negative direction and all. So simply you can find out the work done is equal to force into displacement. So that is 140 into 15. That is 14 into 15. How we can find out? 210. 210. 2100 joule or newton meter this is how we are finding out this equation clear so work done is this much only next class we will be doing about the energy okay so i hope all of you understood all those things and if you like the channel please don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching bye